Hello, everybody, this afternoon, morning, um, et cetera. We will um, continue this with starting off with Asia Wilson, or not starting off, continuing with Asia Wilson. Um, Augusta Stone, we'll start with you and then go to Michelle Vogel. Hey, Asia, how are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, I just want to know kind of what has been helping you, you know, settle into to Tokyo as y'all have gotten here, you know, as your first Olympics, just what's what's been, you know, keeping you keeping you together right now? Um, honestly, I don't even think we've been here long enough to say that we we're tr starting to mesh and gel. Uh, but I think we formed that in Vegas. So we're slowly coming together, of course, making sure that we're on our P's and Q's, going over schemes and things like that. But uh, holding me together, I'm just trying to get some sleep. I'm just trying to rest up as much as I can. Uh, this time difference is quite a trickster here, um, but I'm just trying to stay up and talk to my family, but at the same time, get my rest. Thank you. Yeah. Michelle Vogel? Yeah, Asia, do you think like um, with teams like this, what is the, the biggest challenge? Is it more getting the offensive rhythm or, or, or defensively coming together? Because it seemed like you guys were able to do both of those things um, against Nigeria. But, but what's the, the bigger challenge, do you think? Uh, I think the biggest is like a communication of the both. Uh, it's like just everything coming together. Uh, I think our talent speaks for itself. We know each other probably like the back of our hands when it comes to scout reports. But just playing together, uh, it, it's difficult because we all want things in a certain way, but we're playing with different people, so we might not get it. But we have to continue to do us and continue to have our roles and, and understanding those roles and executing them. So at the end of the day, you know, talent is going to take over, but we're, ten we're really trying to focus on the defensive end of trusting one another and communicating that we're going to be there. And if I could follow up really quick, I know we've asked you a lot about sort of the connection with, with Coach Staley, but to having a chance to win a national championship with a coach and then go for a, an Olympic medal, um, how it's, 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 you know, not, not everybody gets a chance to do that. How important to, to you is that? And how important do you think it is to, to Gamecock Nation, if you will? I mean, it's huge. It is very important. I think it's very important just to black women as well. Uh, I mean, Coach Daly shattering that ceiling for all of us. Uh, representation matters. And it's just one of those things where if you can see her, you can be her. So uh, it truly means a lot to me to be a former player of hers, to play underneath her, especially in this light, in this setting, on this huge stage. And uh, I already know Game Cognition is super proud of her as much as I am as well. Thanks, Asia. Yeah. And go ahead, Latina. You're up. Hey, Asia. Um, just curious about your comfort level. Um, you seemed very comfortable from the very beginning playing with this team in this stretch as far as your ability to finish around the basket and just your level of focus and what you're doing. Um, what do you attribute that to, um, if, if you can pinpoint it? Yeah, uh, I honestly don't know if I can pinpoint it. You know, I'm just really trying to be here to do my part and, and to be consistent in any way that I can. Uh, like BG was saying, you know, we're professional athletes. So at the end of the day, we got to do whatever it takes to get the job done. And if that's being a great teammate on the bench, then that's what it is. Or is it coming in and scoring in bunches? Then that's what it is. So for me, um, I'm just trying to tackle my role, uh, be there for my teammates, no matter what. Biggest thing is consistency. And uh that's what I've been focusing on, just setting small goals for myself and hopefully reaching them so it could be big impact for the team. And just a quick follow up, is there someone in particular you've been relying on more for guidance? You know, if there's moments where you're lost in practice or have questions, is there a player on the team that you've, you've relied on more heavily? Yeah, I would definitely uh, say still, uh, Sylvia Fowler, she's helped me out a lot, even since it was like, from training camps when we were just trying to figure out who's going to even be on this roster. Uh, Sue is definitely taking, uh, taking me under her wing, uh, making sure that I'm okay and understanding that I'm, I'm good, I, I belong here, uh, and just have that confidence booster. So it's definitely great to have a vet like Sue on a team that can, can kind of guide you in this way. I think you're keeping still young too. So <laughs> keep making yeah, it. Yeah, I feel all the time. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Asia. Yeah, no problem. Next, we're going to Takeshi Shibata. Hello, Asia. Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. And uh, my question is, uh, how is it going in the village? Uh, how do you like it now in Tokyo? Yeah, I, I'm adapting pretty well. Uh, it's pretty good. I had some great French toast this morning. Oh, my goodness. 
So this was amazing. Um, but yeah, we're slowly adapting. Like I said, I think the biggest thing is just getting back to our sleep schedules. But uh, I mean, it's been a pretty good vibe here. And uh, I, I, that's pretty much it. But yeah, that French toast was so good. <laughs> I, I heard your podcast with Nafisa. And uh, I, if I uh, correctly listened to it, I think you were looking for some places to do the tattoo here. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, brought my, I brought the podcast equipment. Yeah, we have it. So hopefully we can start getting things rolling um, sooner or later, probably after opening ceremony. But yeah, I have a, we have the tea. We're just waiting to set it up. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Enjoy yeah. your stay here. Thank you. All right, and uh, we're going to close out today with Asia with uh, Roger Cleveland. And then we've got hey, Asia, thank you for doing this. Hey, can, can you just, uh, both Coach and uh, BG talked about there being a difference with Tarazi out on the court. Do you feel that as well? And, and how are things different with her now back practicing? Yeah, I mean, it's a big piece of, of us of who we are. I mean, you have BT, who's a sharp shooter and someone that you have to guard no matter what. I mean, honestly, you got to guard all of us, but especially when it comes to just a, a, a super threat like BT. So to have her back in practice, knocking down shots, looking really, really good. Uh, and, you know, the best is yet to come with this team. And to think that we were slowly starting to get better as we were in Vegas and now adding DT into the mix, uh, we're looking pretty, pretty good. So I, I'm glad to have her back uh, on the court with us. And as someone who, who knows FISA so well, do you feel her relaxing a little bit and, and carving out a little niche for herself in these games? Yeah, and I'm not just saying this because he's like staring at me right now. <laughs> no, but it's it's honestly been great to kind of be along uh, with Fia along this USA journey. Like when we started off from junior national team to now, to see how our confidence is just like shot through the roof and understanding that we belong here. Some of the youngest, uh, if not the youngest uh, on the team, we're just, just trying to figure it out. We're being a sponge to everything and taking it all in because – Sooner or later, we're going to be the best, and people are going to be looking up to us. So it's been great to be on this journey with C, and she's really forming it to herself. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Asia. And yep. thanks, thanks, Roger. If you want to uh, keep keep your microphone on, we'll start with you. Great. Thank you.